life is a casino. We don't sing, we just hit them off with c -Nos. And you can bet it all. I'm gonna be the last one standing tall. Joey Molino. What's up, Luigi? Life is a casino. We don't sing, we just hit them off with c -Nos. And you can bet it all. I'm gonna be the last one standing tall. Joey Molino. With Joey Molino. This is Little Snuff from the Skinny Joey Merlino Podcast. We would like to thank you for watching. Head on over to Patreon for the full episode. The Skinny with Joey Merlino and Little Snuff. Today we got a great episode. How you doing, Coogee? What's up, Coogee? I'm doing good. How is Bulls here? Yes, it is. I see. They, how, look how dark you are. So if you didn't go buy it yet, make sure you <laughs> click that link in our bio. It's on manatees. It's all over. The suntan oil that Joey came up with. I mean, I'm glowing. Yeah, now you are. I, I came down here yesterday. I got a tan instantly. I'm yeah. telling you, go on there and buy it. We got the hats available, T-shirts. Everything. But your, every ha your hair's still fucked up. No, my... Joe, please, with the hair. You know, it's my it's my biggest thing I got, got going for you me. You got a fucking dent in the front. I, I got to get the dent taken care of again, you, but we'll worry about to, that after. You got to go to the fucking body shop and get it up. And it's perfect that you talk about the hair because today our ad's brought to you by Travis King, a good friend of ours. I'm going to read the ad real quick. If you're a barber or a hairstylist, sign up for bookstylistnow.com. It's an interactive stylist and barber directory that allows new and existing clients to find you. BookStylistNow.com was created by Travis King, the only person to fill an 80 per book of clients in less than six weeks. Travis created this site so that hair professionals and stylists of all ages can create a full booking schedule. BookStylistNow.com, you have nothing to lose by joining, it's free. You better go see Travis and get your fucking head fixed. I'll get it done next week. Oh, it looks fucked up. Joe, please. My hair looks great. The tan looks great. No, the tan looks good. The uh, hair's good. fucked up. Don't forget tan and oil. You go on there. Last, you know, last week you're going to see our episode. We had a lot of controversy. What we posted, it blew up. We broke the internet again. Yeah. How do you feel about that? That's good. That's yeah. what we're supposed to do. That's what we're supposed to do. I got a question for you, Joe, because we're going to break this down to a little childhood story. Somebody told me you were involved with the circus. Circus. Oh, yeah, when I was a kid. Yeah, that's what yeah, I heard. Yeah. What, what did you used to do when you no, were a ring, kid? Ringling, Ringling Brothers would come every year. Down the South Philly? Yeah, they would come to the fucking spectrum. Yeah. They put the elephants parked outside, tents. We yeah, what you with to the do? Bike. So they, they used to give it a job. Like, we would go down there. They fucking they put this fucking thing on you. You sell fucking things that glowed. Yeah. Cotton candy, whatever. we go get the job. Just give a fake fucking, fake fucking Social Security, whatever. The whole thing. And they would hire us, you know. And they would give us like $250 and stuff. We would sell it and then put the thing down and just leave. Never go <laughs> just back. Like, never just rob the, the money. It was it. Immediately. Immediately. And then come back the next year, they hired us again. Of course, they, they, they needed people. Know, yeah, the, yeah, the circus people. How old people. were you then when you were doing this? Uh, we were like, it was me, Philip, Marty. I don't know what the fuck we were. 13, 14. It's a classic. They used to ask us for work papers. Yeah, we got yeah, them. We, yeah, we got them. We'll, we'll, we'll mail it to you. Yeah, we used to go to say, the circus. The Spectrum. How, how great was the no, Spectrum? That was nuts. That's when it was electric back then. It fucking stunk down there, though. Really? What? Well, you got elephants. Like kerosene, elephants, lions. Yeah, fucking. They used to park it. They used to keep them right outside, the yeah. elephants. And the fucking chain, chained their ankle. I think they got rid of the circus now. It's done. I haven't seen the circus in Philly in forever. Yeah. I, mean, the only cir I mean, the only thing you can see animals, you go to the zoo. I ain't never yeah. been to the zoo my whole life. You ain't been to the zoo? Never been to the zoo. The fuck out of here. They never took me. My father never took me to the zoo. The closest I got to an animal was Philadelphia. Yeah, the park. racetrack. The <laughs> racetrack. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Kentucky Derby just passed. That was great. Yeah, your father's... My father and Wags. Wags. I can't hit a fucking horse. Forever young. I had the 11 horse. Motherfucker. We'll be back with the Preakness. They said yeah. Bob Baffert's horse is going to win because he's coming for blood yeah. until he's back into the Derby. And growing up in South Philly, we got a lot of childhood stories. And I seen a video you showed me of your mom. And I heard some stories. That's when I got locked up. I got to show that. I, I don't have the video with me. I'll, I'll get it for you. We'll, we'll put it were, up. Yeah, but they were... My How was your mom growing up? She was fucking nuts. Which Crazy. You, yeah. Listen, they used to, when I, when I lived there, like she, I would come down, I would get in the shower. This is down. Jackson Street, right? Jackson Street, even yeah. in Packer Park. When we moved to Packer Park, she would have all her friends over, like seven ladies, the coffee clutch, sit around, yeah. talk about everybody. Fucking anybody, everybody. everybody. And then like, say there's seven ladies. The one lady got up, you know, to leave. Yeah. Say goodbye, kiss. As soon as she walked out, they fucking buried her. She's no buried good. Her. The next, <laughs> yeah, I used to yeah. walk out backwards. I said, "I'm leaving. You should talk about me." <laughs> yeah, as soon as you leave. Yeah, they talked about everybody. That's the South Philly. That's South Philly. Old school Italian yeah. ladies. As soon as you walk out, they're all smoking. They're playing cards. I'm sure. Smoking, definitely playing, a card poker. Game. 
Coffee, Definitely a car game. cigarettes. They used to go nuts. Like fucking when I was a kid, the smoke would bother me. Yeah. Oh, you fuck, fuck out. Stop crying. <laughs> I used great. to drive in a car down the shore. My mother and father, we ain't got no car seat, no fucking seat belt. Nothing. My father had a Coupe de Ville. We'd drive down the shore. Him and my mother smoking in the car. They wouldn't crack the fucking window. Jesus. Fucking, Hot I couldn't breathe. Yeah. They fucking all smoke in the car. Back then, it was normal. Yeah, it was normal. You do that now, too? Well, you, you get 20 diapers. years. You get yeah. fucking 20 years. They'll take Crazy. the kids from you. And it really is. No seat belt, no car seat. We didn't know. That. We didn't have a car seat. I never seen a fucking car seat. Never. No, until now. Yeah. I mean, you know, 20 years ago. Of course. Yeah. Now, now everything. These kids are they're protected like no other. So yeah. hopefully this week when we come back to Philly, we're going to do the Johnny Morzano half yeah. ball. Yeah. We're going to be at the Italian Festival. Make sure you come down and check us out. It's going to be on Saturday or Sunday. Yeah. We're going to be there. We're going to play half ball. We'll be at Rim Cafe. Rim Cafe. We're going to go see our good friend Renee down there, who's <clears throat> get some cannolis. Yeah, go Listen, cannolis. Renee is one of the best ever. No, he's a good man. How's your half ball skill? My half ball's good. All right. You can't play me, you, and Gargano. Yeah. You'll see. We did the threes, and everybody I ain't watching. I played fucking half ball in thirty years. I ain't played in ten. Yeah, I mean, I got to. You got to warm up a little bit. Yeah, I got to. I go the day before. How did you feel about the Sixers with the basketball? How that came? I mean. You got to give the Knicks credit. Got to give the Knicks credit. You got to give them credit. I mean, they, Brunson's physical. The fucking offensive good. rebounds killed them. Killed them. Second chance opportunities they, for they the Knicks. They had fucking six them. fucking. Not they didn't have two chances. They had five chances. I know. They shoot a three, they miss, get the rebound. Shoot another three, they miss, get the rebound. You can't Bronson's win a game. Brunson's unreal. Brunson's unbelievable. He should be the MVP. You're right, and and I love Brunson. I love Josh Hart. Divincenzo disappeared for two games. Then he came on strong the last game. We were at every game. Every game. Crowd was insane. There was a lot of celebrities in the building. Oh, I don't mo- think there was a bigger celebrity than you there because it was insane. Everywhere no, we walked, good. they but loved you, us. But you, uh, you went to the, what was, what was the, the? Me and Wags went to game six. Yeah, I didn't go to that. I yeah. came back. I came back to Florida. But the girl was telling us, Gabby. Yeah, Gabby was telling yeah. The, you know these people are fucking sick. I can't believe Here's it. Here's a working girl. She Trying works to on pay tips. her bills. She works on tips. Fucking tips. They bring you food. You're sitting in a fucking chair. Yeah. They bring you whatever you want. A drink, a water, a beer, And they hot run dog. around. These girls run around every game on for their these feet. people. Yeah. Bradley Cooper was there, that cheap motherfucker. Everybody was there. Who, who else? There was three. We got, the, uh, who I seen there was Bohm. Uh, who else was there? Bra- Brandon Marsh. I mean, every celebrity was there. There was a ton of celebrities The girl there. said the three of them didn't give, give her a dollar, dollar tip. How the fuck you don't give the girl a now, fucking dollar tip? Yeah, you, and you're you, a millionaire. You're a millionaire. You got a tip. If if you're watching this, you got to always support your waitresses, waiters, always. bartenders, bar back, bus boys. This is how these people make a living. Especially you got their kind of money. This They're is fucking why, multimillionaires. This is why we'll I gave never the fucking money. girl a hundred. Yeah, this is why we'll never have money. No. I mean, we, I'd rather be tip. dead than live like them. No, nah, you them. can't. No, I it's mean, fucking nuts. And especially when you go down to a stadium and, it, and it's packed and you see the girls, there's got to be 12 of these girls. Yeah, they're running I mean, they work hard, back, back and, and forth, forth, getting you whatever you want. You got a tip. They and think because they they're a movie star. And I hope if this reaches them that they send these girls a tip because it's embarrassing. Yeah, they ain't, ain't going to send nothing the yeah. fuck out of there. Cheap I mean, motherfuckers. Crazy. But who you like to win? The NBA Finals. Tough. Boston's going to be tough. Indiana's tough. But you've been saying from the beginning, Minnesota. Minnesota's good. Anthony Edwards is unbelievable. Well, he won. The, yeah, he won the first game. He really is. I mean, he's good. If they if they lose the second game, they're, they're in trouble. I know. I if they take two in Denver's, yeah, it's they, crazy. They got they got serious problems. And the Joker's good. Joker's unbelievable. Yeah, but the time this comes on next week, the fucking series will be over. Yeah, it might be over. You're right. No and, fuck knows. And then we got NHL. Unfortunately, Toronto, Toronto got knocked out. We were rooting beat. for them. Toronto, I played them the whole game too. Yeah, so so Florida plays Boston now. Florida plays Boston. We're going to root for we're going to root for Florida. Florida, and then we're going to root for Carolina for yeah, D'Angelo. Carolina. So yeah, we got to got to root for. Uh, hopefully, he scores. Tony, yeah, we got to root for Tony. Got to root for Tony. NHL's crazy. Two game sevens, both were excellent. Yeah. Boston's just lucky they win every single yeah, they game got seven. Fucking bounces. They got outplayed by Toronto. I watched the whole game. I know. And Dallas beat what's the name last night? Yeah, Dallas won the in Vegas. You got good sports around. Unfortunately, Sixers ain't in it. The Flyers ain't in it. So it's like, yeah, yeah you got to root for other teams. But we got, we got to. I'm root for Florida. Yeah, and I'm root for the Knicks. Yeah, then I'm root for the Knicks too. This is Little Snuff from the Skinny Joey Merlino podcast, and the Skinny has partnered up with SeatGeek for the best tickets and the lowest prices you can find. Head on over to SeatGeek. Use that promo code Skinny Joey Podcast to save twenty dollars off. They're gonna have a tough time in Indiana. Indiana shoots too. Brunson, Hart, Divincenzo, all from Villanova. <clears throat> They're you know they played excellent. No, they played good. 
They Brunson's physical, so yeah, I'm going to root for the Knicks too. I, I like them, but I do like Minnesota to win. I, I, I think it's Edwards crazy. Is unreal. That kid's good. Unbelievable. All these young guys, they got the fresh legs. Get rid of these older guys. They're done. Come LeBron. On. Get Durant. rid of them. And I heard a rumor that LeBron and his son wants to come to Philadelphia. Please don't come here. Yeah, don't come here. Don't, do, do not. We don't need it. Stay we in LA. don't need it. Stay in LA. We have no interest. Yeah. But our Philadelphia Phillies are the best Matter. team in Indeed. Major League Baseball Matter right now. They're good. They're hitting. They're, They're hitting. hitting. The pitching's unbelievable. Open call gave us that stat. Bet the Phillies over three and a half runs every game. Every game. I think I, I think they lost one time. God knows what he's up. God bless Open Coat. Send Cash App yeah, immediately. Yeah. Venmo us. Yeah, we need something. They, they're they unbelievable. And I've been saying to Cy Young for the last two weeks, I've been telling you this, Ranger Suarez, no, he's, Carmen he, and me mixed. Yeah. He's plus 2,000 to win right now. I don't know how it's still plus 2,000. If you're out there, I think that's a safe bet. I would bet that. Ranger Danger's on fire. Yeah, but they hold your money for a fucking till October. Well, you got something to root for. Yeah. You know, at least, you know, a dime, you grab yourself 20 dimes. For He's you. good, though. He is unbelievable. He's good. Harper, three-run homer last Harper's night. Harper's great. Killing it. Boom, killing it. They're all, they're all playing great. But they got no bullpen. They need a bullpen. They're going to go out and get it. They, they won the fuck they get the it. Two years in a row, they could have won the World Series. They, no bullpen. They know they're in the race now officially. They're, they're going to go They've been in the them. fucking race. And oh. then they got the wild card. I mean, they're, they're good. Their starting pitchers, the best in baseball, but, but, but their bullpen's the worst in baseball. Yeah. And you're right about that, but... It's whoever gets hot. Last night they closed the game out versus San Fran five four. He came in. He still he pitched good, but you gotta get you gotta get a bullpen. Like I understand what you're saying. You gotta get a fucking an, an ace like a maybe it'll move somebody. Maybe it'll move Walker into the bullpen. Setup. Uh -huh. guy. I like the setup guy, the eighth inning guy, then the closer. I don't like a guy coming in from the eighth and, and finishing one pitcher. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Well, we're, we're into the baseball, and now we got a special guest coming on. Good friend of ours, Damien. Come on in. We're going to talk a little. Soccer. This is a soccer We're going program. to talk about soccer. We're learning about soccer. We went to the Italy. Who they play? Uh, Italy, Ecuador. Ecuador. Here's our friend. What's There's up, pal? How you, How you doing? What's up, my brother? Thank, Thank you for coming me. on. It's a pleasure. Thanks for having us. So before we get started, I want to introduce yourself. Tell everybody who you are, where you're from, Perfect. and you played soccer before and what you did. Perfect. Well, I'm Desmond Gonzalez. I'm a Miami boy. I, uh, I played down here. Uh, I was born in Trinidad. I had a passion for soccer. Soccer was my thing. And uh, I went to Europe. Uh, I played in Europe for about four years, but I got injured. I never was able to make my debut, but I was with the first team training every day. And, um, you know, the biggest thing for me, I'm so happy now that the World Cup is coming to Miami. Yeah. Yes. So I see what you guys are doing, and I'm like, you know what, whatever I can do to help, you know, let's let's let people know about soccer. Absolutely. Let's educate them. No, you know? yeah. So I love it. You know? I never went to a soccer game we until... Went. Me and Joey went. We that went to see Italy in the Italy and Ecuador. Ecuador. I saw that. I saw yeah. that on the live stream. Unbelievable. We would like to thank you for watching. Head on over to Patreon for the full episode.